Mate errors typically appear as you build an assembly. This makes it easy to avoid getting into too much trouble. You simply click undo when an error appears and find a different way to proceed. This works when you're the only person working on an assembly. If others are involved, it's possible that you may inherit an assembly where every single mate has something wrong with it. Another challenging situation may involve replacing components in an assembly. Often swapping one component for another can lead to multiple mate errors. Well, SolidWorks provides several tools for identifying and repairing mate errors. In these few lessons, we'll take a look at how these tools are best applied in certain situations. We'll begin with the most common situation, where you're the only person working on an assembly and you're faced with errors along the way. As you work on an assembly, the most important guideline to follow in order to avoid being overwhelmed by mate errors is to fix errors as they arise. Sometimes users will ignore errors to avoid being sidetracked from the actual building of the assembly. The problem with this is that mate errors have a tendency to snowball as you add more and more components and mates to an assembly. Typically, when an error is ignored, it's because the user does not understand why the error occurred in the first place. So let's take a look at some common trouble areas you should have in mind when working with assemblies. First, it's a good idea to avoid creating redundant mates. In SolidWorks, redundant mates are not reported as errors. This can lead to a bad habit of creating too many mates that do nothing for you at all. Aside from wasting your time and creating a cluttered feature manager tree, redundant mates can lead to real errors when you make changes to your assemblies. Let's use this assembly as an example. Notice at this moment there are no errors in this assembly at all. At some point it becomes necessary to change the location of these holes. Well, to make this change quickly, I'll double click one of the holes to reveal the dimensions used. I'll change the 0.5 dimension to 0.65. When the assembly is rebuilt, errors appear in the Feature Manager tree. The mate group contains one mate marked with a warning and one marked with an error. If I select the coincident mate, you can see the two coincident faces highlighted in the graphics area. If I select the concentric mate, you can see the two cylindrical faces that are not concentric at all. These mates are now in conflict and are overdefining the assembly. What's significant about this is that before I made the change to the position of the hole, these mates were simply redundant, right? SolidWorks didn't care that they were each controlling the position of this yellow component as long as they were not in conflict. By avoiding the use of redundant mates like these, you can easily avoid having to deal with mate errors that'll sneak up on you in the future. Resolving this error is now simply a matter of deciding how this component's position should be defined. Since I want the holes on these components to be aligned, I'll simply delete the coincident mate and the problem will disappear.